Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk about something that's, hmm, it can relate to everybody, I'm sure, as long as you take the bus places and you're, I don't know, the bus is kind of a big deal to you and it gets you around. Okay, so a couple of things that are just, bleh, that bother the crap out of me when I'm on buses is when people do not move back and there are so there is a lot of space where people can sit and stand but people just don't move back for some fucking reason you ever like encounter that I'm sure you have because you've taken the bus like every fucking day right yes you do <laughs> or your parents drive you and traffic is a different story that's not fair the buses there are people inside the bus and you know, it's just a little ride that you go, everybody's going somewhere. But it's so crazy that all these people we see, like different people that we see all the time on the bus, and we're probably never going to see them again after one bus ride. It's a crazy kind of thing. But the things that are crazy about bus rides that I don't like is when people don't move back. <laughs> and that is, I have to say, by far the most annoying thing ever. And sometimes when people, I don't know, they talk really loud. You know what I mean? They talk really loud, louder than usual or normal. <laughs> and they get all the attention towards them in the bus. And it's just like, hey, this is kind of a, supposed to be a nice ride. So can you kind of shut the fuck up? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but a thing you can do about the whole busing, uh, I mean, about moving back, is to just literally say, excuse me, and push yourself towards the back where there's room. Because why do you want to be, like, clusterfucked with everybody anyways? And it smells like crap because there's so much body heat and it gets really hot. Like, it really does, especially when people don't open the windows, which is another thing that bothers me about buses. I need to have my fresh air. I'm, I can't tell you how sick I get when I don't have windows open in the car or in any vehicle. I mean, roller coasters, shit, there's air everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Th thank God that there are not like windows or whatever. Oh look, Guillermo just texted me. Thank you, Guillermo. <laughs> and crap like that, okay? So please bust the window open because there's always somebody in the bus who really feels like they need to breathe. So even if you don't really like it or whatever, just open it and you're sitting next to a window or something. Just open it for them. And it's good to have some air circulating in the bus because it's really stuffy, especially during rainy days. It's so gross, man. And of course, during hot days, everybody's going to have the windows open, which is, it makes sense. <laughs> but aside from that, also when people don't say thank you to the bus drivers when they're getting off the bus, always say thank you to the bus driver because imagine yourself driving, I don't know, like, four or five hours straight a day, maybe with 10 minute breaks every hour, just driving people and nobody says thank you to you, right? That would suck asshole because they drive you, yeah, it's their job, so what? At least somebody's doing it for you. Even if it's not their job, I'm pretty sure they would too. Or maybe not, I don't know about hitchhiking. <laughs> okay, hitchhiking, yeah, that's, that's different, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's their job, but it's still nice to say thank you, like the teachers who teach you stuff and whatever, your parents or your friends that do stuff for you. It's nice to say thank you, and it wouldn't kill you to say thank you. I know that people get embarrassed sometimes, like they don't want people to be like, what the hell is she saying thank you, or he's saying thank you for And you're at the back, you're getting off at the back, and you're like, thank you, or thank you, all the way back there, you know, and your voice echoes the whole fucking bus. <laughs> It's okay, let your voice be fucking heard because it teaches people to also say thank you. So, please try that. And so when you're getting on the bus, normally you would get on from the front, right? I would think, unless it's like a freaking long train. I don't know, in Santa Cruz, I get on the bus in the front all the time. And I always say hi, or hey, how are you, or something like, I'm not trying to be generic or mean, I'm really trying to say hi and let that person know that thanks for driving me, or I'm glad that you're not just a driver to me, you're actually a human being. And so I say hi every time I get on the bus, and they always say hi back. <laughs> so it's really nice to not just show your pass or like put money in and not even smile or say hi to that person. Because imagine working with so many people who give you grouchy looking faces and give you a negative vibe, you know? If the more you just are nice to people you show off a really good vibe and it makes people positive believe it or not so if you're around a lot of 
grumpy people and they make you they're gonna make you feel negative but if you're around somebody who's positive you're gonna feel positive but if you're a positive person and you make others feel positive you're gonna spread a lot of your positivity so that's a good thing so please try to practice these things when you're on the public bus and i know this is a really weird topic but <laughs> it's kind of something i've been thinking about so i hope you guys enjoyed this it's not that long of a commentary and whatnot but another thing before i end are good things about buses when you're driving around places you stare out the window you know fresh air is hitting you you can either listen to your music or listen to the voices of people talking the view that you see you know whether you're driving past the ocean or a park or a lot of buildings or something and you see a lot of people outside pretty lights and stuff it's really relaxing and that's why a lot of people fall asleep on the buses and that's really cute <laughs> but be careful when you fall asleep on buses but don't take advantage of the bus as if it's just part of your daily life it's nothing special because the bus is where it, it takes it's like a magic school bus okay it takes you places and imagine yourself not being able to take the bus and you have to like walk everywhere on foot which is sometimes a good thing too walking's good but appreciate your public buses even though they're like dirty or whatever but appreciate the driver and just the time that you spend not doing anything but sitting there and letting time go by thank you so much for watching i hope you guys go take the bus now peace